Well, I scoured the whole warehouse looking for this brand, because I needed to know what's all this hype about. If you stay in touch with the disc golf world at all, it has been hard to avoid all the noise around this company. Lone Star Discs. Feels good. But again, are they worth the hype? They've come out with like 30 molds this year, signed a few key players, it's hard to avoid them. So, I'm gonna head to the field. I got a lot of their discs, I guess. Not all of them, but we're gonna be heading to the field. We're gonna be doing some field work with these. We're gonna see which ones fly the best. And we're gonna decide once and for all, are these discs even good? Are they worth the hype? All right, we just got to the course. You know what? Texas disc golf brand. Have to rep the Cowboys jersey, baby. <laughs> Roast me in the comments. Subscribe if you're an NFL fan. If you're a Cowboys fan especially. But if you're just an NFL fan, maybe hit that subscribe button and that like button. Comment down below your team, I guess. And uh, yeah, just roast me for how bad the Cowboys finished off our playoff season this year for Texas. Let me just start off by saying, I've thrown these discs so I could give you pretty good insight on what's going on with them. Now I don't have every disc in their lineup, but I do have their more popular discs. They've got like 30 now. Blue Bonnet, Jack Rabbit, Penny Putter, their probably most popular throwing putter. Dillo, obviously. Super Dillo, what the heck? We got the BB-6, Texas Ranger. We've got the Lone Wolf, We've got the Walker. I got the special edition one, which is so dope. Chupacabra, Tumbleweed, Mockingbird, Frio, this one is new. And actually, we're gonna be giving this one away since it's new. I'll let you know how to do it by the end of the video. Real quick, then we'll get back to the video. Also, a little something something, we're gonna be doing a discount code. Check out below, we're just gonna have the code down there. So we're doing a discount code on Lone Star Disc, so check it out, maybe pick some up. Back to the video. Figure out how to get the discs in the giveaway. Mad Cat, the Nimitz, Bayonet, Seguin, I'm gonna be giving this one away too. This one is also new. Warbird and Tombstone. So we've got a good plethora of the things that they have come out with that have been popular. Now where I've been most impressed is their fairways and then a couple discs here and there with their drivers and mid ranges and putters. But their fairways has been where I'm most impressed by this company. Before we get started, a little bit of information on the situation here. One, it's the off season. I'm not throwing very hard. It's 30 degrees right now. I wanted to throw off a tee pad so that we could give you a real good insight of exactly what I could do with this when I've got good footing. We're also throwing uphill. Let's get throwing them. They're good discs. There's a couple that are really good. A couple that I'm, we're still judging them, I guess is the best way to put it. So let's get throwing. Starting off with Jackrabbit and Blue Bonnet. The great Penny and Delo. Oh, I threw that one like crap. Okay, I've thrown that one before and it's actually good. That was crap, but the Dillo, it's a good disc. That was just garbage. That's user error. Super Dillo. Oh my gosh. Oh, please sit. <laughs> okay. Not too impressed. <laughs> Got the BB-6. Really impressed, honestly. I threw that one really high for a beginner. Oh my gosh, a great disc. I threw it earlier and it was, it was really pure. Turnover, slight comeback, but I mean, it's, it's a solid disc. Had to take a break to let some fellas play through, but they asked me, hey, what are you throwing? I said, Lone Star. They said, is there anything flippy? Well, perfect timing. We're on the mid ranges. The wolf, Lone Wolf is what I showed them. This thing is super beginner friendly, flip up, straight, 
flat turnover. That's what I showed him because it's awesome. So if you're a beginner looking for like just like the solid mid-range, go with the Lone Wolf. It's really workable. And then we got the Texas Ranger we're going to throw. It's like a buzz. A little bit more of like a little micro beat at the end, but kind of like a buzz. And then we got the Walker. This is the new Emerson Keith Bruins disc. Super overstable, great for forehand, so we're gonna give these a shot. That guy back there, I'm gonna try to drill him. Well, he's picking up those discs for me. What a good friend. He just showed up here. I don't know what he's doing. He's a nice guy though, I guess. <laughs> yeah, flippy. <laughs> but I like it. Go birds. Listen there, bub. Listen here, bub. I know your birds are doing good, but I got to root on the Cowboys no matter what. <laughs> that's yeah, that's solid. I like that. Like, that's like well, it's, a, it's like a buzz. Oh. Yeah, it's a mid-range. Oh, I know it goes far. Hey, listen, there we go. <laughs> Beefy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. On to fairways, this is where Lone Star has kind of stood out to me so far. They all feel really solid. Some are a little bit more beefy than I thought, but we got Mockingbird, Frio, new disc we're giving away. Mad Cat, this is probably one of their most famous discs. And the Chupacabra, holy crap is this thing beefy. Let's give them a rip. I kind of threw that one in the tree, but I mean, you can see the flight. I mean, it's a beautiful flight on that disc. Dead straight. The fairways are solid, dude. Like, the fairway is flying good. Chupacabra. And throw this one on the forehand, because it is beef. Look at that thing. Oh, that's disgusting how beefy that is. All right, we're on to drivers. I'm gonna have a stand in for these four, but these two I wanna throw. Tumbleweed. Very, very flippy disc, but honestly, this thing probably went the further. It went as far as these drivers for me when I've been throwing it. Great beginner friendly disc. Then the Nymphs, I was really impressed with the Nymphs. It's an 11 speed, kind of like a Wraith, but it's, it's really controllable. Really liking this. And then I'm gonna let Hunter rip on these. Ah, oh, well, I threw it like crap, but you can see it flip up and turn and glide. And... Still went forever. I threw it like crap. Earlier I threw it amazing. So tumbleweed, great disc. Yeah. That thing goes forever. I'm gonna let Hunter give these a rip. He throws his drivers very far and he just showed up. So might as well let him throw. <laughs> Bayonet. Yeah. Yeah, pretty beefy, honestly. We got two more. I'll throw this, I'll throw this tombstone. Hunter, throw this warbird. This is like their destroyer. That's beefy. We got the tombstone, even more beefy probably. I'm gonna throw it out on a forehand for you guys. Yeah. Well, we threw all the discs, we did all the stuff. Let's grab those and we'll talk about them real quick. Then we'll finish up the video. How about that? Are they overrated? Are they too hyped? At first, when I felt the discs in the warehouse, I was like, okay, it's a little bit different feeling plastic. But after throwing them and like really getting a feel the past few days, I kind of like them. Now, a couple of them I didn't really like. The ones I did like, this one, kind of like a Luna, just their classic throwing putter. This is the one that everybody liked. Dillo, impressed. BB6, if you're a beginner, Impressed. Uh, not making it in my bag, but for a beginner, throw the BB-6, it's solid. Now, mid-range is really impressed with the Texas Ranger. This thing goes. I mean, you saw on that last throw, it went as far as some of the fairways were going. So, Texas Ranger, really good. Lone Wolf, just a solid beginner disc. The Walker, oh my gosh. He was impressed with it too. I think he might stick one in the bag. <laughs> uh, this thing is beautiful, honestly. This is probably making it in the bag because look at that thing. Who would have thought? Lone Star Disc, make it in the bag. I like it. Probably where I was most impressed, Mockingbird and Frio. I think I like the Frio a little bit more. Unreleased, we're gonna be giving this one away. Mockingbird, beginner friendly, kind of everybody could throw this disc. It's just solid, kind of like a T-Bird, maybe a little bit flippier, so 
I like these a lot. Last three that I'm most impressed with, okay? First of all, the tumbleweed. Beginner friendly, but I feel like this is a disc that everybody should have in their back because it's so controllable. A flippy controllable disc is kind of hard to find, in my opinion. So the tumbleweed is solid. And then the nymphs. I like this 11 speed, all right? It goes as far as the 12 speeds, honestly, but it's a lot easier to throw, just dead straight. So pick up a nymphs. Nymphs. It's a nymphs. I don't know, what's a nymphs? The drivers, I wasn't really, like, I'm not gonna lie. Wasn't the biggest fan of their drivers. I thought that they were pretty beefy. I am throwing in 30 degree weather, but for a, for a beginner, man, I just, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a beginner, but like even, I throw decently far and I, I just, tombstone. <laughs> if you're looking for a thumber disc or a super overstable disc, try the tombstone. This has a chance to make it in and out of the bag depending on the round, honestly. So, giveaway, unreleased. How about them apples? Unreleased disc and we're giving them away. So, Frio, really liked it. Saquin, a little beefy, but giving away. All I want you to do is comment what state you're from. Where are you from in the US? Because this is a Texas brand. Are you from Texas? Are you from Utah like me? Are you a Cowboys fan? Comment down below. We're gonna be giving these away. I don't know what to say. They're good discs. They're not overhyped. They're good, they're solid. A couple of them I thought were a little overhyped, but for the majority of the part, for the majority of discs, really solid discs. So I'll catch you later. Like and subscribe. Peace. And then I'm gonna have me throwing my disc at you to end the video. You know what I mean? That's kind of funny, huh? <laughs>